Greetings, artists. Today we are going to learn about Jen Arani and create a Skeen Bear inspired portrait. All of you will have a tracer that is shaped just like ski goggles at your table and you are going to trace around it with a pencil. You are then going to make a U on the bottom and two upside down U's for the ears on the top. Once you have the face and ears drawn, you're going to draw an upside down triangle for the nose and an upside down Y for the mouth. You can draw a um, sweater on it by making a long thing all the way around and two lines to the edge of the paper. Now we are making the hair on the bear and you will do this by tracing your pencil lines with many 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 small eyes. They are just little eyes that have not been capitalized that you are making all the way around. You also will line things with dotted lines and erase when finished. This is how your picture will look when you are ready for the Jen Aranhi portion. Now you are going to draw a Jen Aranhi landscape. You are going to look at the handout and add different elements to the picture to create a landscape. You will have a foreground, a middle ground, and a background. When drawing this background, you are going to use trees and other things. You're also going to create patterns on the bear's sweater. I did this by dividing it up and then using different patterns such as triangles, circles, and things. So now I am doing what is called a wet on wet wash where I painted water only on every area that I wanted painted and now I am coming through adding the watercolor on top to create a sky using purple, pink, and blue. So the sky that I paint in the goggles is a reflection of what is behind the bear. So I need to remember to use the same colors and the same color pattern in the goggles that I am then going to paint using the same technique on the area behind the bear. So once I finish this part, I am going to, through the magic of TV, then also have the background of the bear painted. If you see here, I am just using little bits of water to make the watercolor move around and I am making very very sure to stay within the lines. I now painted the same pattern on the back and using paint pins here I am coloring in my sweater. I also made sure to color in the area around my goggles to make them look 3D. Happy creating!